Hey everyone, today I'll be sharing 5 tips for improving developer productivity in Unity. Whether you're just starting out or a seasoned dev already, hopefully you'll find one of these tips useful. Let's get started with XML comments. This is a neat feature of C-sharp that lets you write comments for methods and classes amongst other things that describe function, input, and outputs. Three reasons to do this are because 1. It's clear and consistent. 2. You get IntelliSense in some IDEs. And 3. You can extract out these XML comments to get documentation sites basically automatically. Visual Studio Community, the IDE that I'm using, also auto-generates a snippet to fill in after a triple forward slash, which is pretty great. Interfaces are contracts that let you prescribe a group of function and data members for many classes. In c -sharp, we have classes that implement interfaces, meaning they agree to follow the contract laid out in that interface. It's a way of making sure our classes can share the same base functionality or a set of functionalities as you can implement multiple interfaces in a single class. An example of this is if you want to create some boxes and some cards that are draggable. You could do this by creating an interface called iDraggable. Convention is to start with a capital I, but you don't have to, with functions that deal with dragging. Uh, for example, an onDrag function to do something on dragging. Then we can make our card and box both implement the iDragable interface, meaning they would both have to have some form of the onDrag function, and you can implement this differently in different classes, which we can then call at will. If you don't implement these, you'll get an error, which is a good reason to use these interfaces, just to keep yourself in check. For those of you familiar with object-oriented programming, this is C-sharp's answer to multiple inheritance, since that's not supported, and can be more elegant since the is a model of a base to derived class doesn't always make sense. What would you lump a box and card under? Paper products? Named and optional arguments are two very useful tools for defining and calling functions in C-sharp. Named arguments let us ignore the order of arguments when calling a function. We can just specify the name, colon, and the value in any order during a method call. This is similar to Verilog port declarations, by the way. If you have an argument that you think will mostly be the same every time you call a function but might rarely want to change, you can, of course, set up an overloaded function. Um, but another option is to set an optional argument by giving arguments a default value in the definition. Then you can call it without that uh, optional argument or with a blank and it will be set to the default. It's a nice way to avoid having to write multiple method overloads when you only have a minor extension to make. Sometimes you'll want Unity's default new c -sharp script to behave a little bit differently. Perhaps there's a format you want to keep consistently that's not what's provided. You can define a custom c -sharp script template to start off with that's different from the normal one with start and update, and it can be added to the asset menu. Simply go to your Unity install location if you have Unity Hub, it looks like this, and edit the C-sharp, the default C-sharp script if you don't want to have another one, or just duplicate it and then edit it with your favorite code editor. The first number in the file name is just the order in the asset menu, which you can change to your preference. One important caveat is that this is a bit of a code smell. If you do find yourself doing this, uh, you should see if you need inheritance or interfaces, because this is pretty much what they do. Defining common functionalities between classes is a lot better done by just inheriting from a base class most of the time rather than doing this. Okay, so there's a whole suite of useful refactor tools that your IDE might provide, and I'll be showing you two useful ones that Visual Studio Community has. I know a lot of you use VS Code. Um, that also has a ton of similar refactor tools, and you should look at the documentation for those. There's a global rename function which lets you safely rename a method, class, variable, or any other user-defined type under all its uses in uh, basically your entire project. There's no need to edit a name and then check for compile errors to see where you have the problem or use uh, control F and replace, which can be dangerous. Instead, use this refactor tool um, and save yourself a lot of time. A final useful tool is the for to for each loop converter. For each loops are convenient for accessing elements of a collection without adding extra logic to deal with an iterator variable. 
Well, for loops let you use that iterator variable to handle more complex operations, for example, going through a list backwards. If you find yourself needing to change from one to another, instead of rewriting it, you can use this handy refactor tool to instantly convert between the two types of loops. Okay, that's five tips for Unity and c -sharp developers. Leave a like if you learned something new, and subscribe to my channel to be notified when I post something on the first of every month. I've put a lot of work into the game that you've been seeing in the background, and I'm almost at the point where I can focus on adding content instead of logic, so I'll be restarting my devlog soon. Join the Discord if you're interested in being a part of the Wintermute Digital community. It's new and has pretty much nobody in it. Thanks for watching my video, and have a good day.